Hello friend, welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey and I'm doing a collective reading. Now this reading is not going to be for everybody as you can see by the title. Um, but let me make sure my cards are facing right. This reading was about um, there's a man. If you're watching this, this and you're a man, then this may be for you if you're doing this. Trust your own intuition. If it's you, it's you. If it's not, it's not. It's okay. But there is a man who has uh, been on all the dating sites, right? He looks to be like maybe his 30s, uh, mid-30s to 40s. And he is been on all the websites or just about all of them, no exaggeration. And younger women don't mess with him anymore because this man has some type of problem. He is, has a, uh, he has a, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to keep it clean. An addiction to laying with people. Uh, and he may most likely be carrying something. I'm picking that up as well. So now what he's doing is he's heading over after older women. This man can't seem, I feel like he has, a, yeah, they're telling me now, he has some, some type of curse upon, on him where he just can't seem to keep his legs closed, okay? And so he may be after, I'm hearing your grandmothers. So if you know this already, I would definitely be praying and doing some type of whatever it is that you do whatever ritual you do. I don't know what you do. Some people do prayers in their Bibles. Some people do candles. Some people do other types of magic. I'm not here to judge. I'm just telling you, you know, do whatever it is you need to do because this came through in a dream. And so he is, um, yeah, he's like a serial dater in a way, but he's not dating. He's sleeping with all these people. Um, and now he's going after older women. And so if this is you, clearly you have an addiction and there is some type of curse upon you. So I don't know how you want to get that taken care of. I don't help with removing spells. I don't do that. Um, so you may want to research and find who can help you with this problem. Okay, let's see what else is going on. And I also got that on a collective scale as well as a nation. Um, I live in the Western world, as you can tell from my accent, but there are other Western worlds who are, um, in this energy of, of, uh, just the word I'm hearing of whoredom. So the divine is trying to let us know that, um, we're headed in the wrong direction, as many people know, especially when it comes to, um, connections, then that connection should be divine. It just should not be. I, I listen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not judging y'all. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. I used to be out there. Listen, I did. I ain't gonna lie. Used to. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the divine is saying these relationships are just transactional, and it should not be. And so we're in a nation or a nation of whoredom. And there's also some other nations that are catching up with us because they are following their lead. And they also have, they have um, chosen, not all, there's like one in particular I'm thinking of has decided to sell their soul over to Satan as well. China. <coughs> oh yeah, that one. And, um... Listen, I don't know anything about that nation. I've never been there. I've never visited. I don't even know what their culture I don't know what their culture is. I don't, other than what TV teaches me. I know nothing. But I'm telling you what the divine is telling me. All right, my loves. Let's see. What is the divine trying to say? So as a nation, we need to get ourselves together. Um, and let's see how this, you know, coincides with everyone. Where are we, Holy Spirit? What is the overall energy? I don't know even how to read for this, y'all. I've never done a reading for it like this. But here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. And I can't take it too long because I got things to do. I'm sorry, Holy Spirit. I'm not trying to be in a rush. Anyway, Holy Spirit, if you please protect my energy as I read for the collective, for whoever needs this message. I think we all have a lesson to learn, myself included. So let's see what's going on, because I'm curious. 
there's more I should be doing. I'm sure I could be praying for somebody. And, you know, I don't know. All right. Bell. Okay. This new card. All right. So, this is taking a turn. Somebody's having victory. Looks like we're switching energies. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Something says, end of hardships. Oh, hell no, y'all. Sorry, I was getting happy. Anyway, this is saying good marriage. Boom. The divine is saying with the bell is there needs to be, um, in these unions, it shouldn't be just transactional. It shouldn't just be, I'm dating. Listen, I'm not judging y'all. This is the message that I'm getting, okay? You ain't got to say in the comments about nothing about me because I'm telling you it's not from me. So don't start. Dang. So the divine is saying we need to take the time out and have good marriages. Things need to be six in balance. Um, this will in turn bring us happiness and the good news that we want. So when we're laying around with different energies and we're bringing different energies in our body is what I'm hearing. Um, that is slowing us down. When we're releasing our juices during these energies, that is our lifeline. That is our, um, um, the way to tell me, y'all, and I'm, I'm probably saying the word wrong, so bear with me. Our essence, our energy is connecting with that energy. And if you're, I'm here, thank you, Holy Spirit, energy vampire, um, you are, there's somebody sleeping with energy vampires, okay? These people mean you no, no good. They mean you harm, Okay. They want what you got. The divine is saying that some of these uh, people have demonic entities attached to them and they are on, on assignment to steal what is yours. Thank you. They just walking me, talking me through this because I'm like, I don't know where this is going. Okay. To take and steal what is yours, your essence, your lifeline. And every time you do that, you're giving it away and it's keeping you stuck. There's no movement. I'm also getting, they're saying, because they're also saying, if you learn about this or you know this and you keep doing this over and over again, and you're aware of this, seven more come, seven more demons. There's a Bible verse that talks about that. But anyway, seven more come. You keep bringing more and more and more, especially if you know the knowledge and you're getting the knowledge, whether it's from me and you've already gotten the knowledge and you know this, that's when the the demon's argument is, well, I can live in that person. I can do what I want because they know the information and they're not utilizing it. So that's on them. I'm hearing it's a doggy dog world. It is when it comes to the devil. Dang, I was getting all happy. I was like, yay. Nah, baby. <laughs> They're saying if you want good news, if you want victory, especially some of you are not having victory in an area. This victory can, listen, whatever this, this, this person brings, okay? Person, partner that you're engaging with, um, and you know if this is you or not, it is holding up your success. If you're waiting for finance, if you're waiting for something to go in your favor, court case, blah, 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 blah. These are obstacles. And some of you, they're set up to make it look like an illusion i don't know what they mean by that so let me just let me feel what he's what what what, what uh what they're saying so they're saying i guess this person is giving illusions puts it puts you in illusion every time you do this keeps you stuck you don't know you're in the illusion because you keep doing it that's okay they're saying that's the trick That's the truth. And this is us as a nation as well. Again, I told you on a nation level, people who are um, who may be engaging in this way. Um, I'm here to keep your legs to yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, stay on alert. Some of you may have somebody coming your way like this trying to make propositions to you. 
Um, they, I'm hearing they don't, they don't mean you well. They mean you harm. They are not, especially if they can't wait. I'm hearing that clearly. They're like, if they cannot wait, if they can't meet your terms, then that's not them. That's not them. And don't be afraid to let go of that. That's what I'm getting. Wow. I did a read like this. But okay. All right. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Energy vampires. I'm hearing sad. Somebody stays sad all the time. It's because of the essence that you're giving away. Your sadness is, you keep being sad over and over again. This person comes in and out and in and out, in and out. And they're just leaving um, energy entities. Oh my gosh. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, keeps you insecure, feeling like an outsider. Somebody feels like an outsider a lot. Closes off your heart. This person you're dealing with also has a closed heart. They're demonic. Divine is saying, remove this clutter from your life or you will stay broken and stay in negative thoughts. This card is reversed. A mental illusion, I'm hearing that as well. Are these reversed? Okay, they're not. Just wanna make sure. All right, okay. There's some interesting energy. What else is going on here? Anything else they need to know? Again, another reverse one. Okay, so the divine is saying, take time to invest to solve the problem. Solve your problem. It says going back to a past love. You got to stop going back to that person. Somebody's going back and forth. Somebody also may get somebody coming back again that wants to, wants to come back. But it's always going to be frustrating. Ooh, listen, this person's carrying something. Physically and spiritually. I'm going to say it that way. And somebody's going to get some unpleasant. Somebody may be getting some unpleasant news. This man, this thing. I'm going to call him a thing. He's a man. But he's carrying energies. He's nasty. And this, is, this ain't you. This is somebody. I told you he's going after older women now. And I also feel like this is people. If you guys are on dating sites. Please be careful. I'm hearing this no joke. The divine doesn't like them. That's what I'm getting. I'm not judging y'all. Listen, you, I, I'm a person, my theory is, I thought, I mean, you know, the divine can send anybody any kind of way, but what I'm getting is the divine doesn't really care for those particular sites, okay? I thought, I'm, you let that. Let's see. Yeah, again, a good relationship. You want something in writing, something like a commitment, a good marriage. You want something that's consummated in writing and indeed, I'm getting that as well. I have no idea what that means, but it says also indeed. Yeah, some of you ladies, you need somebody who's gonna protect you. Someone who's gonna provide protection, protection over you, your family, your connection. They said, and yeah, they're saying the future is up to you. It's up to you with this horseshoe around the heart. Somebody's got somebody. Um, okay. Again, caring spouse. The divine says we need to get online where we are getting spouses who are caring, protective, not running here, running around, spreading their juices everywhere. Okay, ourselves included. I'm not judging y'all. Listen, I was out there. I'm not gonna sit here and say I wasn't. I'm not gonna sit out there and say I wasn't. Okay, and I understand a lot of you come from hurt um, places. You know, I was listening to, uh, what's his name? Patrick, he's a, dang, he's on, I hear YouTube, he's good. He's a therapist, type in Patrick. Maybe you're fine. He wears glasses. Cute little man. He's so sweet. Anyway, he was talking about how 90% of Americans have been in some form of toxic family abuse. That's a lot of people. Did you hear me? As I see 44. So we got a judgment on us. 90%. Y'all, we got some curses to break up in here. We got some cycles to break for ourselves, for our children. 
That's insane. So that means that you meeting somebody. What is it like? What, one in three people or something? I don't know. I don't know statistics like that. But that's a lot of folks. I mean, chances are you've come across a few. If you date, if you've been dating a lot, depending on your age, you've met a few toxic people. I was talking about that briefly yesterday in another reading. Um, or was it yesterday? Or maybe it was this week. And the divine was, had told me back in like 2019, 20, he was saying that the internet tells us that 50% of families end up in divorce. And he said, no, that's a lie. They're not telling you the truth. He said there was 80%. And, yet, and this week, though, he told me is now up to 85%. So I'm just, you know, I'm just the messenger, y'all. So the divine is asking us as a nation, in whatever nation you're in, that is uh, like a first world country. You know, if they're modern, they got all the, you know, things. You know, you know if you're first world or not. We're nations of whoredom, okay? And also, those uh, those on a, on, on, um, on a different... I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what this is all about. Well, I see what it's about, but I was like, why I get this message? Um, but thank you, Nirvana. I appreciate you allowing me to forgive the message. There's that uh, this man who is a serial, you know, he's running around and he's got something. If this is, again, you, sir, then you need to seek out some help and help get that spell off you. Y'all be careful out there. The divine is making it very clear to us. Somebody going to get something. And we need to take more care of ourselves. We need to love ourselves. Um, we need to respect ourselves and have better relationships. Look for better relationships. The words have to match up with the actions. Okay, give it some time. Don't jump in with somebody just because they tell you a few things. That don't mean jack. People know how to prey on other people. Net, well, narcissists and sociopaths, psychopaths, all those types of path paths, right? These types of energies knows how to play on a person um, who is desperate. They can smell it a mile away. They can smell when you're like, oh, I'm ready to have children. I'm ready for love in my life. Oh, I just wish God would send me that. They know. Though you're the type of people they gravitate to. If you're empathic, they love us. We're like a narcissistic meal. Yummy, yummy. They just showed me like a rib. <laughs> it's just sucking all the, the bone. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay, I'm going because I'm about to do another random reading that came up in a dream. So I'm going to go do that as well. If you found this helpful, then thank you. Okay, because I ain't even know what to do. I was like, okay. Hit the like button if you want more like it. Hit subscribe. But there'll be other readings coming out through the week. So don't panic if this reading had nothing to do with you. Um, don't worry about it. Um, but there, it has something to do with all of us. It means we need to, those of us who are walking the path and we're just like, I'm not dealing with any negativity. We should be sending our prayers up for the nation. The divine sees these people as, um, as our sisters and our brothers. Okay, so we are all one of the same. God doesn't love one less than the other. So if we're not saying anything, we're just like, well, that ain't me. <laughs> Good luck out there. We will, you know, the divine will be like, but you could have opened your mouth. All you had to do was say a simple prayer. You know, that's it. You ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't got to, you know. Anyway, all right. Thank you so much. If y'all want a personal reader information in the description box, if you know about want to know about me as a reader, which is important for you to know, click on the more button at the bottom. That'll take you down there. That'll open up, show you where the website is. You can read about me, see who I am, see if I'm legit or if I should even be reading for you. And also my Patreon down there. My Patreon is down there as well as how to get a personal reader. All right, bye-bye. I'm done. I'm tired.